Welcome back to another video. We're going to take a look at how we can edit PDF files within Inkscape. So currently I'm within Word. As we can see over here, this is quite easy to change. So this will be the template of the certificate. I can double click and I can add over here a text. So we can easily do that. Also, if I want to do some uh, color changes over here, it will be a quite easy since we have the editable file over here for shape. I can change that field to a different color. But let's say that we save that, this file as, um, as a PDF file and I already have it prepared over here. As we can see, this is currently open within Adobe Pro. And let's see the main advantage of Inkscape over Adobe Professional for this. So I will jump within Inkscape. I will go to Open. And I know that the certificate is on my desktop, so I will select the certificate over here. I will click open and within the import dialog we're gonna see that over here for the font if i will expand this list there will be some fonts that um, are not available for example we see it over here and this will be replaced with arial over here i will uh, select this so substitute missing fonts in this case avenir will be changed with arial and I can click OK. Now Inkscape will open that certificate PDF. And as you can see, we can start work with this. For example, the same shape over here on the bottom. I can click on that. And if I will go over here for the fill and stroke, I can already change the color over here on the bottom. So just like we had the possibility to edit it within Word, we can do it over here. More so, we can also add various gradient. For example, I will go over here for a linear gradient. And we're going to see that we can change that. If I will expand the gradient over here, we're going to see that Inkscape also read various gradients that were already added to this. For example, if I will enable this, and we're going to see various gradients are already added within the converted file. And regarding text, if I will double click one of those texts, we're going to see that the cursor will change. And now if I will try to add something, if I will go all the way to the end, over here where I have title, I can type in space and I can add a new text. And as we can see, that will work perfect. But if I will try to add over here, somewhere in the, let's say, in the middle of the text, we're going to see that those new letters will not be properly positioned. So in order to change that, all we have to do is to select the text over here and we need to go up the text and we need to remove manual cans over here. We see that with that activated, now we can start adding. For example, I want to add something new over here. I can type in text and I can clear that signature, the double A. So that's how we can easily change the text. We're going to see, for example, that the text will be slightly changed in terms of spacing. For example, we have over here the program project name. If I will select this and I will go to text and I will remove manual kerns, we're going to see that those uh, characters will be slightly more um, close to each other. So we can always change the spacing over here. I can add over here 0 0.10, for example, and we're going to have a similar distribution between those characters. And again, we can change everything over here. So I can type in, for example, text, and we're going to have that added. So this is how we can easily modify PDF files we using Inkscape. And this is the main advantage of an open uh, source solution, such as Inkscape. We can do some something similar over here within Adobe Pro. We can change the text, but regarding colors, we are not going to have that same um, control for the gradients and so on. And also, Adobe Professional is not a free software, and uh, this is why Inkscape is uh, is better for this. Okay, so I hope you find this video useful. I will position a similar video on the left side and a subscribe button to the right. So that's it. Thanks for watching.